your principal plan. I'm a former school principal, so I followed everything you just said. But I'm also a teacher, an English teacher. And I launched a website teaching people how to write essays, starting from parts of speech, sentence structure, essay structure. And it's a, uh, I also have a YouTube channel that accompanies it. So I kind of got the ABC of what you talked about for the principal, but I like to do that as a teacher. And the, my idea was to get this uh, website off the ground. It's running now, but I wanted to turn it into a membership site where I charge $4 a month, but it's open to everyone, all schools all over the world. So I'd be interested in knowing how I can take the ABC and get to the XYZ part of what you laid out in terms of TikTok and all that stuff. I'm not familiar with that. Don't know how to use it. That's okay. Um, we can pick a platform to say start out with and then over time we can eventually branch out. So uh, you said you are a, a te you're currently a principal? No, I was. I'm a former principal, but high former, school and okay. school. Gotcha. I'm an English teacher. Now you're an English teacher. Okay. So that's your full time is, career. Yes. Yes. And writing, writing has been a issue nationwide. So what I did is I actually, it was my dissertation and I made it a website and I break writing down to its basic, basic steps where first of all, it's parts of speech, parts of speech. You learn how to make sentences. There's only four sentences in the English language. And then you can structure those sentences into paragraphs. Paragraphs lead to essays. And I have a 23 video series that goes with that. There's a video lesson attached to each lesson. So it's actually me teaching you three to four minutes. And then there's a PDF worksheet that you get to practice and exercise with that leads to the essay. All right. So uh, what is the name of the website? Where can I go to purchase it right now? www write ideas w-r-i-t-e ideas 101.com put it in the ch put in the chat for everyone else too all right hold on i just opened up my browser so say that again www mm -hmm. write ideas w-r-i-t-e ideas 101.com okay let's have some fun let me share my screen that's me you guys can see my screen Boom, I'm already getting hit up, like it. So you got one of those things, okay, join in for updates and freebies, get new ideas, get news from Right Ideas 101 in your inbox, get free membership until February 2022. Okay, so we're capturing leads, that's wonderful. Okay, so let me just... And then you go to the Emergent Writer uh -huh. bar, and that's where the program is. So if there's the overview, there's the parts of speech, and it's all sequential. Yep, and who does this cater to? Anyone who wants to learn, elementary school, junior high, middle school, adults, people in Vietnam who want to learn English. Okay, so this is learning the English how language. To write essays, how to write essays. How it's to write essays. The niche is strictly how to write essays. Okay, how to write essays. And so that can benefit definitely, like you said, um, middle school, high school, college, right? Yes, yes, adult learners. English as a second language learners. Okay, right. What problem are we solving? We're helping the middle school, high school kids, maybe uh, you know get a better grades, right? And and say Definitely. college for an adult. What does that look like? What? So I learn how to write better in English because what? If you want to learn English, the way English is taught as an English second language is they focus on speaking and writing is just kind of an afterthought. Like mm -hmm. write write about what you did this morning, but the. Yeah. I, I guess my question, have, my question, more so, hold on, hold on, one sec, one sec. So my question more so is what is the problem that is that that second language person here in America is uh, struggling with and, and how does that help them, right? What is the problem? Communicate. That? They can communicate in writing. So if they have to write letters, respond to any kind of. Okay. Uh, so it could be personal. Yes. Right? Okay. Educational, Tip. professional. Okay. Maybe for their job. Maybe they yes. want to, yes. you know, they're, they're, they maybe have a certain position at work. And if they can just improve their, their language, a little better, that might Absolutely. get that promotion. Oh, yes. Absolutely. 
All right, all right. So learn how to write better essays, gotcha. So this only costs four dollars? It's right now it's free. I haven't monetized it yet. And so how many people you got in here for free? Um, uh, I don't know. I check, I check Google Analytics and it just shows from time to time, but I don't have that piece set up. Uh, right now on the YouTube channel, Let's go there. There's uh, 1,500. What's the name of the YouTube channel? The Progressive Writing System. Okay. Okay, cool. Oh, no. I don't have internet. There we go. Y'all can still hear me? And all the uniform videos are on the website. So each one's a lesson. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know what you're waiting for, man. Uh, I don't know how to put it all together. Hold on. So you got the website, right? Uh-huh. It's the marketing piece, Alex. No, 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 no. Hold on. Before we can get into marketing, wait a sec, because you're already marketing. What I sign up by going where? There's no, nowhere. There's there's no, I don't have the membership oh. uh, component set up to it yet. Okay. What, uh, what website is this? Uh, what, um, are you using Wix, Squarespace? Um, uh, Bluehost. Bluehost. You familiar with that one, Alex? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. So his issue, I'm assuming, is on the back end where like the checkout part, because he doesn't even know who who's in there, right? Right. I would right say now, partly. Just, if I could jump in, good. sir. Um, so could you explain how you're charging for this? Like, what's the business model? Right now, I'm not charging. The plan right. was to just open it up, get all the kinks out, get it exposed. So a lot of kids at my school use it, mm -hmm. and. Um, it's been my informal case study and it's been very successful. Mm -hmm. Kids are actually writing essays. The English teachers are telling me that it, it's off the chart. Mm -hmm. so, so what I wanted opinion, to do now was ahead. make it a membership site where right. you can't get in unless you pay $4 and then you can have access to this, this whole site. That's where I'm at now in my development. Understood. So is there any one-on-one -on -one coaching or is it just an online course? Not yet. I was going to add an online co uh, coaching piece to it. I was going to add a, a Zoom uh, tutorial mm -hmm. for people who wanted to go there Yeah. for, you know, um, more, more writing, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I can add something and Denzel, I'm sure you can agree with this, but price is a good filter in terms of the quality of customers that you have and the quality that they perceive your content as. Um, because it looks like you have great content, it looks like you're gonna help people, yeah. but if your audience doesn't perceive it as that, based on the low price, um, they're not gonna look at it as quality for what it is. Where I would look at it as more, if I was you, I would sell it more as a course for even $199, $299 and target the parents, right? They're the ones with the checkbooks and the kids, they're not gonna pay mm -hmm. You know, they can't buy a McDonald's for two bucks. They're not going to pay 200 bucks for something. But the parents, right, if they want their kid to go to FSU or Harvard or Yale, they need a good essay. So if you pitch it like that towards high school kids that are going to college saying this course is going to help you write essays perfectly, very well, and you're going to have a better chance to get into your dream school, just hypothetically. Uh -huh. If you pitch it like that, Add a group coaching session twice a week, sell it for even $199, $299, one-time fee or a payment plan. I think that's a good business model because four bucks a month, I mean, to make even 4,000 bucks a month, that's, I mean, how many customers is that? Like a thousand customers? Um, and you're not accounting for churn as well, where somebody signs up for a month, gets the value and then stops the subscription. So um, that's my point of view, but Denzel, we can go back and forth and help them on this, but I think yeah, it needs so, to be not high ticket. Yeah, I'm like open to all that. 199, nothing, even 99 bucks, one-time fee, um, you get your payment and yeah. that will filter out what people see it as in terms of quality, because I could see a parent paying you a thousand bucks for this. I really could. Good YouTube okay. channel. It looks professional. You're a handsome guy. I'll throw that in there as well. So you have everything going on well. He's got the but voice I think too. It's presented as a like high quality, and people mix price and quality together. So you mm. can't really have a high quality product at a low price with co like courses and coaching. Um, it's a bit of a different dynamic. But yeah, Denzo, what do you think? So the other thing that I'm I'm getting, I think he's having an issue on the back end. So he's got the website and he's got the social media uh, following in the mm -hmm. channel, but he needs to actually create either a, a checkout. You need, a, 
a funnel. Right, a funnel, like a checkout, right? So boom, here's how yes. you sign up. Then I check out, I pay. Even if it's yes. free, there, even if it's free, there needs to be a checkout so he can actually track who, who is in there. Who is and in then, and out. Right, and then um, the other part is where is the the course being held on? Is it being held on Bluehost or is it on another platform? So uh, could you answer that? Yeah, it's on Bluehost. It's on Bluehost, so you can have your I'm website Bluehost. and you can have your, say your course layout, right? Okay. Yes, and one thing I do wanna say too, he, um, do you know anything about landing pages? No, Intro. I don't know anything about anything you're talking about. Wow. Oh, okay. All of, yeah, all of this, this is all the stuff you're sharing cool. with me is all stuff that I have no idea of, but I'm all open to it. I, I put this together piece by piece over the pandemic. This is good. I was, I was teaching my class. I had to do Zoom. Mm -hmm. The English lit went over very well, but the writing was, they just, we couldn't do it over Zoom. It just, it didn't lend itself to that. So I hired a production company to put my writing course curriculum on segments, just like I would Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. And then I added the worksheets as PDFs. And then I just had my students use it and it grew it mushroomed and i i realized that it's it's a product that i know that i can market it's just i'm not in this field so yeah all this stuff you're sharing with me i'm all ears yeah good good so here what is alex what's the next action step should he mm -hmm. uh, uh is this something you feel like you could um provide some support in um just an area you Okay. Is this yeah, if I could want... jump in where I agree with you, Denzel, like I can put my email address, Lou, and we can have a conversation. Okay. But I think we also have to discuss, as you mentioned, Denzel, the back end that needs work, but your website looks great. Um, yeah. The YouTube channel looks great. And I believe the content is a good product, but you can't have a good product with bad or no marketing. And you're starting out, so it's fine. But I think if you have good marketing and a great product, it's a win-win. You can't lose. Right. Um, it's not possible. And you have good YouTube channel, good organic content. Um, but I would say we need to focus on the back end and the offer because we can get the back end right. But if we're selling it for you know not the right price to not the right audience with bad, um, I would say like a bad target audience in my opinion. Yeah. I think that would also lead your product to be being good, but it not being a good business, right? We want to make sure that you're investing time into this. You're investing money, yes. energy, you need to get paid for yes. it. Um, so four bucks a month with inflation, that can't even buy a Big Mac. I mean, right. Big Macs are like eight bucks now. So we got to level up a little bit. So I, I think we can talk about it for sure. I'm going to put my email okay. in the chat. Um, I think it's a great fit, but I think you should be just to give you an idea. Let's raise the price a little bit, target not like rich people, but a certain type of clientele that sees the value and they're willing to pay for it. Yeah, I'm all for it. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm all for um, it. Yeah. Let me put my email in. We can talk, but I think it has tremendous potential. It does. Awesome. Wonderful. He sounds coachable. Right. Absolutely. Uh, so that that sounds like a good relationship there. Um, Can I ask a question? Yes. Denzel? Thank go. you. Who, who's speaking? Um, who, who, this is Vanessa. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> you always get me. I always get your information when I go on vacation and I'm home in the evenings. So thank you for that. Um, mm -hmm. I just have two questions. Um, do you know who your competitors are? Do you have any type of rim of who? your competitors are me personally are you to me? No, the gentleman who wrote oh, this who okay, did yeah, the yeah. software oh, Lou. okay and what is your name i am vanessa hi vanessa, vanessa. I'm Lou. Hi. And nice to talk to you oh uh, yes i do all right and, and, and there isn't and there isn't really a competitor it's a blue ocean as denzel said you know okay. they're, they're, they're doing some kind of stuff but I it's nothing it. like this Mom, put your oh, weight man. in it, right? <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. And and one other thing I just wanted to make sure that you understood. When I say something like a moat to you, does that have any type of meaning to you? A moat? Yeah, moat. You spell it like boat, but you put an M in front of it. And it means what is your product offering that puts you ahead of the others? Uh, I, I don't, I never use that term, so I don't know, but I know what it does. It puts me ahead of the others. It actually, it actually teaches, it takes all the mystery and uh, confoundance out of writing. And as an English teacher, the way we teach English is we have you read a book and then we say, okay, now write a paragraph on it. But that's 
that's a social aspect of writing. If you don't know sentence structure, that's where the attitude changes and you don't like it. And um, I wrote this and then when I correct it, you have sentence fragments or you don't have the right grammar. Mm. And then you start to get into what's called learn helplessness. So what this does, it eliminates all of that plus all of the rules. I don't talk rules. I just give you the ABCs, now drive the car. Okay. And they actually drive down to the DMV and get their license. And they're like, wow, this was the easiest course I've ever taken. That's what this course does for everybody. All right. So that's great. So if that means, and what I just did is define what MOLT was. And um, you were saying that this gives you an opportunity to pass a lot of um, mystery things, you you are able to get straight to it. That's one thing that is an advantage than the other ones have. I believe, did I understand that correctly? Yes. Okay, all right. And there was another thing that you said. That is what I would emphasize in the advertisement when you get with Alex. And, the, and just to keep it simple, and from what I'm saying, let's say you got, um, shipping companies like Federal Express, um, UPS, and you have um, Amazon out there, right? Yeah. Of the three companies, Amazon is the one that has the moat because they sell products. The other two doesn't. So that put them ahead where the other two can't, would, would probably take longer or may never ever get to that point where they are. So that's what you want to also work on. Make sure that you have something that uh, that is ahead of a, or above the others in your grouping so you can keep that. Anybody who has the moat gets the chance to, to run the dollars. Got it. Oh, you got it. I wrote it down. Thank you. Awesome. Appreciate that, Vanessa. And was did you have a question for yourself before I go to someone else? No, I'm good. Good? Go to someone okay. else. Cool. I appreciate you chiming in. Appreciate that. Okay, um, anybody else? Um, that was perfect. So, Mr. Uh, uh, Lou, uh, what is yes. our relationship? Are you my uh, manifesto? Um, are you just yes, on my manifesto. manifesto. Manifesto started a couple of years ago. A couple years and ago. I wasn't in position. I had, you know, I just, I had debt, education debt. Uh, my credit was terrible. And you talked in one of your videos about, you know, positioning, like get yourself in position to do these things. So now I done that and my credit is through the roof. Love I it. Uh, paid Love off it. my debt and I Love got it. a and I got a debt tool. I actually got a HELOC. So I'm Beautiful. in a position now. Beautiful. So yeah. with that, um, I also want to give the opportunity for us to hop on a call. So Alex has his email. I think he sent it directly to you. And so that's an action step. And then the second action step. Um, let's have a call together as well. You already have my information, so you just reach out to me since you're in the manifesto and we can do something okay. together. Um, we'll do. I don't know anyone that does what you do, so it could be a resource that I can throw on my uh, resources tab on my website. I always like doing that. Um, if I see that it's you know of great value and you're doing something good, I don't mind spotlighting, spotlighting business owners in this community.